Good day. I am Captain Nurul Rahman, International Maritime Consultant and member of the Worldwide Ferry Safety Association's board. Dear viewers, Wikipedia defines training as teaching or developing in oneself or others any skills and knowledge or fitness that relate to specific useful competencies. Training has specific goals of improving one's capability, capacity, productivity, and performance. In essence, training constitutes a basic concept in human resource development. Training is actually an integral part of education as a whole. And imparting education involves all facets, like formal classroom learning, practical activities to acquire skills, as well as learning via the internet. Training in the maritime field is as important as training in all other areas. Statistics of casualties and consequent fatalities in the domestic ferry sector around the globe pinpoints to one common cause, and that is human element or human factors. The root of all co other causes resulting in ferry accidents can be summed up as the man behind the gun or the seafarer who with appropriate knowledge and skills could have made the outcome different. Inadequate knowledge and lack of appropriate levels of training of ship's crew is shown as contributory factors for accidents. The Worldwide Ferry Safety Association suggested that enhanced crew training could improve competence in the human factor aspect. The Warshaw School of Maritime Science and Engineering identified insufficient experiential knowledge as a significant causal factor of ferry accidents in the PIB countries. Today, I'm pleased to moderate a panel on training in this maritime field, particularly about training for seafarers and operators of domestic ferries. Mary Ann Pastrana, the Executive Vice President of Archipelagic Ferries in the Philippines, has been running a modernized domestic ferry company in her country and Having noted ferry accidents over the years due to insufficient competence of her crew noted, and I quote, one of the direct ways for our organization to achieve peak performance is through a systematic evaluation of workforce skills in relation to our shipping operations, unquote. She introduced e-learning concepts to bolster competence within her fleet. Mr. Ephraim De La Carna Jr. is the founder of eVarsity. He used to be an engineer officer in the, field, in the merchant marine. During his time on board ships, he found out that these days with our Z generation becoming seafarers are going to sea, traditional ways of learning need to change in order for these young youngsters to gain knowledge or to get interested to learn knowledge, have gained knowledge and become competent. He advocates e-learning systems, which actually translates to utilizing electronic technologies to access training methods outside the conventional means. He advocates further to learning through virtual reality, as well as introducing gamification in the learning process. The third presenter is Mr. Murray Goldberg, who is the founder of the Marine Learning Systems, and he is a leading e-learning technology and services provider. He says, and in his own words, I quote, through our technology and expertise, we help operators gain visibility or crew training improve learning outcomes, increase safety, and optimize performance in maritime operations. 
unquote. In 2007, Murray was approached by British Columbia ferries to help source an L LMS to improve and modernize the ferry company's training processes. Today, these three excellent resource persons will provide us their insights on how proper training can reduce ferry incidents. I'm sure that after you have heard and seen the presentations on, in this panel, you would have some questions. We encourage you to send all your questions to me and to Dr. Roberta Weisberg, and we can pass those on to the individual presenters for their answers. Please email to ferry safety, ferry safety as one word at gmail.com. As this is our very first virtual conference, we as the hosts are on a third tight learning curve. So please bear with us. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Thank you.